please. I'm doing it. <laughs> all my sanitary supplies. Gloves. <laughs> oh, look at me. I know. I love the color. But there's only one thing wrong with it. Tell me. It has the wrong tires. That's why I'm here. Took you long enough to yeah, get them. They actually make Dunlop in that size? Crazy, right? Yeah. Now you got to put you on Pirelli. So, just so everybody knows what we're doing. First and foremost, hi, uh, welcome to today's video. Um, I'm here with Cloud at P Zero World, and although this car's only done a thousand miles, I'm taking the tires off and putting real tires on. I like because it. Because when you're used to a great tire, it's hard to drive on not a great tire. And Dunlops are okay, but Pirelli's are better. So I don't think Dunlop are really high performance. And besides, it's an Italian car. You need Italian tires. So we're also going to do some additional stuff to it. Okay. I want to lift the front end by about that much, half an inch. You know? And then I have another favor to ask. Yes. I have a big favor to ask of you. Um, when you put the new tires on, is it possible, pretty please, to clean the wheels? Because I can never get to the inside with them on. When I say I know anybody sure. doing it. Like you really clean your wheels yourself. Well, have you recently? <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a steam cleaner now. Really? Yeah. Okay. My, we uh, also gonna, we also going to wipe down your brake canopies too, they are hard to get to also. Brilliant. Do that yeah. Thank you so That's very, very much. I had to go through hoops or jump through hoops to get this for you. What is it? That's worth more than... Well, it's harder to get than some of your watches that you're wearing. It's a wheel adapter, wheel lug nut adapter to get these wheels off the car. Because remember we tried that last time and we couldn't... Oh, that's right. I had it expressed in from Germany just for you. Well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. The invoice is inside. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> How long is this going to take to do? Derek, what do you think? Three hours, four hours? Um, we charge by the hour. So I, I need a car, please. Well, I always told you that you need to test drive my McLaren. I have a 720S and it has my fancy wheels on it. I would love for you to tell oh me what you goodness, think about it. They are cool. Can I have a look? Yes, please. Come on up. This what is amazing. Different? I've got to say, uh, I'm oh, not, I'm not a huge... What did you just say? Well, um, let me finish the sentence there. I'm going to say it's amazing. I'm not the hugest lover of McLarens, as you know. But this is by far the nicest McLaren I've ever seen. The wheels do everything. Absolutely everything. You should see the other side. McLarens make the ugliest wheels, right? You've got to admit, they're not the They're not wheels. as sexy as mine, that's for sure. And also these, these are, are incredible. These are German-made. They are lightweight forged and they actually have a patented brake cooling feature. So they're left and right rotation. And my wheels actually they're designed and engineered in Germany. So basically they suck in the air here and the air comes out here to cool your brake um, brakes. And they're left and right rotation. Look at the other side. I don't know what color you like better. Right on this side and what do you think about this? Ooh, oh wow, that nice. uh, that's crazy. Well, that's my business. You know, I gotta show, oh, that is crazy. I gotta show different Different okay, so color combinations. I'm not a huge lover of gold, but this looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I like the other side too. You know. What about this? Whose is this? This is a car that um, I got on loan from Aston Martin. Has your wheels we, on it? We're doing yeah. We're doing some test fitting and some um, photo shoots for my new catalog. So. So I have an idea. I can happen I to have it here. Can I throw an idea out there? Yes. Um, I can't. You know, I'm paranoid about the COVID thing, right? Yes. I can't take Adam with me okay. because I guess we can put some cameras on it and what have you, but he's going to need a car. Can he have that? You know what? That's fine. Take it. For real? Take it. I mean, you, you can experience my wheels first hand. This is my that's C111. Adam, your new ride. That's, that's my C111 in Fortune. That's my C112. So you got both of my wheels on two great cars and I want, to tell, I want Adam to tell me what he likes better too. You should swap and drive him if you want to. I'm fine with all of this. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. I can't quite believe what's about to happen though. Uh, it's you're, pretty cool, right? You're driving a 720? Yeah. And you've said that you like the look of it? I love the look of it. I don't like the look of it. I, I can take this off for now, right? Yeah. Um, can you hear me from there? Yeah. So I love the look of it. The wheels have changed the entire car and I guess dropped the suspension and whatever else you've done to it. It looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm not the biggest McLaren fan. This is sick it's really sick all right and we'll go take it for a ride yeah uh can we go to malibu we go anywhere you want we've got two and a half hours all right let's go to malibu i'm gonna follow you actually you follow me and then i'll follow you and then we can follow each other sounds good deal okay why am i putting this back on
Okay. Seat belt. I think we're ready to go. Hope we don't get killed doing this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, driving the 720S McLaren. And I have to say, what Klaus has done to this car is absolutely fantastic as far as the aesthetics go. It really does look gorgeous and probably one of the nicest 720S's I've ever seen. Um, it's fast, it's very, very, very fast. I would compare this to a 488, um, maybe even a tiny bit bigger, not bigger, faster than the, than the 488. Careful here, there's some rocks on the road. But um, it, it's certainly a very, very quick machine. Is it as fast as my Enlargo? Not even close. But there again, the Enlargo is not a normal production car, but it, it's not even close. Although it's fun to drive, uh, it really is fun to drive. I don't really love McLarens. Um, I've driven about 15 miles to get to this road here, and the 15 miles were struggling to find the air conditioning, to find the nav, to find everything. I can't even move the seat because the, the controls are kind of backwards. Uh, it's a very funky car. I would never want to own one of these, although I don't mind driving Klaus's because it is fun. Another thing that's incredibly annoying, the paddle shifters turn with the steering wheel. I don't know why, because if you want to change gear, you have to move your hands around unless you kind of double jointed. Makes no sense whatsoever. Maybe it works for a Formula One car because they have a very small turning circle, a very small lock, and they don't have to go around corners like these and change gear. But uh, silliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Don't know why McLaren do it. I guess they want it to be different. Uh, some people might like it. I hate it. It's a silly function, but as I said, some people might like it. The car's fun to drive though, and as I said before, uh, the, the rims and the lowering have really set it apart from the rest. Great, great fun car to look at. And my back is breaking because it's uncomfortable. But there again, oh gosh, whoa. Holds the road well, uh, pretty much what I expected. Very similar handling to the 488 and uh, the F8 as well. I think the F8 is probably a little bit better than this, but I'm enjoying it. It's, it's fun. I say I'm enjoying it, but I want to get out of it. Adam is taking me on a uh, road here in Malibu. We're in the canyons. I'm not quite sure where we are to tell you the truth, but it's a fabulous view. I mean, truly fabulous view. And I have to concentrate on the road here. It's very, very windy. And of course, I'm behaving myself with the speed limit. I know what the speed limit is, but I'm going slowly or semi-slowly. What do you think of the sound? The sound is great. Um, Klaus has put a, as you mentioned before, a quick silver exhaust on it, and it makes all the difference in the world because McLarens don't sound too good normally, kind of a bit like lawn mowers, but this certainly makes it sound like a proper car. So uh, anyone that's got one of these, I strongly recommend the exhaust. Uh, apparently it fires fire as well. I don't know why anyone would want to fire coming out of their exhaust, but I guess it's good for Instagram. I'm enjoying driving it. It is fun. And I've got Adam on my tail in the DBS, which I'm going to drive home because that's a sophisticated car and very comfortable. Um, I believe it's about six liter engine. Whoa, this thing does, does go. It's, uh, it's a nice car. So getting back to what I was saying, the Aston, um, I think it's six liter V12. This is, I don't I have no idea what this is, an eight cylinder. And you can't actually even open the engine compartment because McLaren uh, have made it that uh, you, you, you can't open it. I don't understand why. I mean, in, in an emergency, you'd be in big trouble. You have to take it to the shop to have it opened. I think I'm going the right way here, making it right. Um, Adam will show you the view, I think. It's absolutely spectacular. Out to my left is the Pacific Ocean and we are very high up. And it's a very hot day as well. I don't know what temperature it is because I can't understand anything on the dash here, but uh, there we have it. So I'm just pulling over 
and I'm uh, going to have a chat with Adam. So here we go. Ooh, I have to get out of it. All right, let's see what he has to say for himself. I'm going to guess yes. not as quick as a Ferrari. Not like a Ferrari. Hello. Put your mask on. What did you just say? Not like a Ferrari. <laughs> As I got out of the car, I just said, I know the first thing he's gonna say. Hold on, I need my mask. So then, sir, how was your first ever car review? Because I, I could, remembered I... that we didn't tell them what we were gonna do. Did you tell them when you got in the car? Uh, not really. <laughs> I don't even know what I rambled on about. I was just <laughs> talking about the car in general. Um, I'm wearing the mask because the ash in the sky here and in the air from the big fires up in California uh, are absolutely horrendous and it's very very bad air quality uh, i'm far enough away from adam where i don't need to but uh i'm keeping it on for my own health here because it's horrible and adam has his on as well so yeah uh such a pretty looking car klaus has done an amazing job the cec wheels on here change the appearance completely i mean it's just a pretty car really is a pretty car having said that <laughs> Here it comes. Well, it's fast. It's very fast. And as I said, you know, when I was driving it, it's comparable, I think, to a 488. Might be a hair faster than the 488. Not really, maybe measurable. You can't really feel it. Um, it's nowhere near as quick as the Enlargo. I mean, it might as well stay in the garage. It's that far behind, but the Enlargo is not a production car. So you can't really compare it, can you? So I think this has got a remap on it. I'm pretty sure that he has a... It's a, not in the same league. An ECU tune. Not in the same league. I, I want to see yours, like, your and Largo, in an actual race or something. Boys. What's up? Nice car! <laughs> yeah, because I know you say it's really fast, but... Well, you've been this in it. Is, it's really fast. I've been in it in Beverly Hills. I know, but when you touch the accelerator, you... you... Yeah, but that doesn't tell you how quick a car is. That's, That's what I'm true. saying. I want to That's see true. how fast it is. Like, I would love to put that against this in just like a straight on drag race. I'll eat see. it for breakfast. You think? Yeah, McLaren would you hate me. You think? Yeah. They'd All right. hate me more than they already do. Well, maybe we but, should figure that out. Well, maybe one day when we can do that, when these masks can go away and all of that stuff. But for now, it's a fun car. It's a fun car to drive. I'm not taking that away from it. It's just not a Ferrari. It's not sophisticated. I, was tr I still don't know how to switch the radio on. I swear to God, I I'm stuck with the air conditioning because you have to go through pages to get to things and press buttons. The seat's in the wrong position because you press a button, it does the opposite to what you think it will want Hold on, to. hold on. Does this mean that the car isn't sophisticated or you're not sophisticated enough to figure it out? Could be that. <laughs> it could, could be that. But you shouldn't need a degree in engineering or computer technology to be able to switch the radio on. I agree. Right? And you've said yourself off camera, they're very awkward. The Yeah, the, the infotainment system, I don't know why they had like... You know your fan speed as an option that you have to go out of your radio page or your navigation to change it should be right there of course it should yeah i, I mean the seats should be able to operate where you press forward and it actually goes forward without it doing 30 different things <laughs> and you have to fight it so i gave in i don't know where the mirror switches are i couldn't find it anywhere I pressed everything it didn't seem to do anything but again let's talk about the beauty of it because it's a pretty car <laughs> Guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am about the fact that I've managed to get Michael to come out onto some proper driving roads and, enjoy, well, he may not have enjoyed it that much, but enjoy these cars. All right, do you want to jump in this and drive this back and I'll drive this one? Yes, however, However, I need to put the license plate on it. Okay.
car sounds fantastic. It's wild. Yeah. yeah. The seats are uncomfortable as hell. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to lean back and, on it, right? And then because I you're, couldn't you're figure a gentleman, out. you're a gentleman driver. You know, you cruise, right? Eh. No, you you hit it sometimes. A little bit. Okay. But it's fast as hell. Yeah. I mean, it's really really fast. I, I can't get used to the the controls where you have to go through screens to change things, and mm. it's complicated. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a race car. It's yeah. literally a, a clarified, I mean, a, a street race car, so to say. But you know, you've done an incredible job. The wheels make this car. Thank you, thank you. That's, and I was trying to figure out I, earlier. I said the gold ones. Now I think I don't know what color that is. It's that kind of bronze. It's no, it's it's a red. It's, it's a, a red. Bordeaux red. Bordeaux red. So 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 pretty. And the tires they were holding up okay in the canyons. Fantastic. Oh my God, both let, of them. Let me tell you, when you get on a Pirelli tire. It's so different to any other tire. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's just me because I'm used to them, but they just feel like you're gripping the road. They, they really suck you down to the road. Well, they're high performance tires and they learn from their motorsport experience. I mean, they've been Formula One. Yeah. You know, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Okay. But I'm excited to drive on those. Yeah, you, oh, you feel different. And you had a couple of nails in your tires too. Stop it. Yeah, let me show you. You want to see? You got nailed a couple of times on those Dunlops. Really bad? Oh my god. Here's another one. So wow. those guys are toast. Yeah, you're lucky that you came to us. Wow. These are brand new. Not anymore. That looks much better, mate. I think this is this is right. This is ha, how you should ha, leave ha, it. Ha, ha. <laughs> so you'll see it another day when it's all finished. You don't need to see the finished product now. But Klaus, thank you so much. Thank you're you welcome. for lending us these amazing cars. The mere fact that I'm not a McLaren lover does not mean for a second that it's not a great car. Okay, no, no, just, I got it. Just not my type of car. Yeah. That's my type of car. Yeah, I've always been into Ferraris always and Mercedes-Benz. And Mercedes-Benz and... But, uh, excited to drive this. Thank you so much. I'm glad you had fun. Adam, you had fun too? Thank you. He nearly wrecked twice. No. <laughs> How do you like that exhaust though? That quick Oh one? my god, that I, mean, I was grinning from ear to ear. Really? That good, good. Yeah, loved it. Do you hear the backfire? Oh my like god, you feel you the backfire. Like, you feel Let it, right? hear it. And at night, it actually spits fire. <laughs> Why do you want a car to spit fire? It just looks cool when you drive, you know? Yeah, who doesn't? If you have the option, your exhaust can spit flames or it can't. Why would you ever pick no flames? I don't want flames, flames going out my car. You see all these horror stories where they go up in flames because yeah, of yeah. the exhaust. Well, you have people revving their engines when they're cold, spitting fire. That happens on some Lamborghini Aventadors. Yes, it does, yeah. But those cars are engineered that way. You know, they have this uh, non-flammable material behind, so it should be okay. But do you know what cars it never happens on, Klaus? Which one? Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> and Teslas. They and Teslas, yeah. Teslas too. I want to say something. But they burn, the battery burns. I would say 99% of people that have Ferrari don't want flames coming out of the back yeah, of the car. Yeah, of course not. So it's a different type of driver, different owner. I mean, you know. it's, I like it because it's also my business. I've been doing this ever of since course. I... Of course, why not? I came to this country, or even before in Germany I was doing that, so... But no, you did a fantastic job. You made this car special. Beautiful. And, and again, out of all McLarens, this is the one. So guys, hope you enjoyed this. You got to see some fun wheels, tires, wonderful cars. Thank you to Klaus, P0 World. If you need tires or wheels, check him out because he's your guy. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it, and thank you again. See ya. See ya.